Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in to a special episode four of Candid Conversations with City Block. Um, you can see that normally, uh, I guess normal normal is three, three episodes because this is our fourth episode. Um, but usually we're all streaming from different locations with our guest also in a different location. Uh, but we happen to be working together today and we've all kind of been staying in each other's safe bubble. So uh, we're all coming in one screen. Uh, so let me really quick, I'm Lindsay, the founder of City Block. if this is your first time watching. I'm Lexi, I'm the Media and Marketing Associate. I'm Amanda, and I am the Director of Content Strategy. All right. So again, thank you for tuning in to those that are watching. And we have the distinct pleasure of introducing you to Michelle Robinson. She is the founder of Demi Blue Natural Demi Blue Natural Nails and Creative. We just went through that. Uh, and she's also the recipient of a UMSL DEI Accelerator Grant. So Michelle, can you uh, introduce yourself to our followers? Absolutely. So as mentioned, I'm Michelle Robinson. I am the owner of Demi Blue Natural Nails and the creator behind the Demi Blue Vegan Friendly Nail Polish Collection. And the newest winner of the UMSOL Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Accelerator. Woo! Exciting! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we, what we do is we provide natural manicuring services. Um, we started out mobile, and then um, after the pandemic, of course, um, we partner with a local boutique, and now we offer private uh, natural manicuring services, and then we uh, also couple it with our vegan nail polish products. Awesome. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. So um, we had a little information about you before we started the interview, and it says that you spent 18 years in education and healthcare. How does that translate to nails? Like, I know, you right? <laughs> So I did, I spent, um, so I started out uh, in the healthcare industry. I worked um, in the uh, the Heart and Vascular Center at Washington University. I also managed the orthopedic uh, surgery division and decided to transition into education. I wanted to uh, teach healthcare classes and to prepare students for the healthcare industry um, only because, you know, as a healthcare provider, it was important to ensure that patients were getting the best customer service. And I felt like there was room for improvement. So I transitioned to education. Um, I was in proprietary education for eight years. Um, I served as an, an academic executive. I hired instructors, trained instructors, trained students. Um, then my mom had an experience with cancer, with breast cancer. In 2010, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, it was through her radiation treatments, through her experience that I just kind of started to do some research on some of the products that she was using because my flamboyant mother uh, could not go to the nail salons and get her nails done. She was losing her hair. I could see her self-confidence, you know, transitioning. And I thought, what could I do? You know, I, I know about these chemicals that are found in our conventional nail polish products. And I know that they are harsh and toxic, but I'm not in the nail care industry. I'm not, you know, a beauty consultant. What can I do? And so I tapped into the healthcare experience and the educational experience. And I just created a brand that was safe for my mom and for other women. And so not only... Um, am I a full-time entrepreneur, but I'm still able to, to um, you know, indulge in the healthcare industry and the healthcare because I'm training women. I'm teaching, uh, still teaching medical students. I'm still working with manicuring students. And so it's just, it just came full circle. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> so something that caught my eye that you said and that we had information on was um, it's talking about skipping the drills and acetone. And that is like yes. the only thing I know when I go to the nail salon, which isn't much. <laughs> and the one time I do go, it destroys my nail bed. So can you kind of go into detail on like what um, what do you do as opposed to the normal of getting your nail beds destroyed every time you go? <laughs> Absolutely. So normally when you go to the nail salon, they're preparing your nails for enhancements. And that's why they use a drill. And that's why they use um, the acetones. Um, the enhancements have chemicals in them that require only the use of acetone or a drill to remove them. 
And so that's how the natural nails destroy because not only from the chemicals, but the techniques that they use to prepare your nails for enhancements. But we don't practice um, nail enhancements um, that require those harsh toxins. Therefore, there's no need for the drill and there's definitely not a need for acetone. Um, our nail polishes are, are very comparable to the way that gels um, last and the way that they look. And so um, it, there really is no need. We don't use acetone. We don't use um, the toxic trio that the, that the uh, cosmetic industry has warned us about, right? Yeah. That's formaldehyde, toluin, uh, dibutyl, phthalate. That's the toxic trio we've been warned about for years mm -hmm. that are in a, many of our cosmetics. And so because we don't use that, it, we, it's not required that we have to remove your nail polishes with acetone or a drill. So um, what we do now is we practice more of a holistic component. So we definitely treat the natural nail. Our products are enriched with vitamins and nutrients to help promote nail health, um, to promote strong nails so that if you want to wear your natural nails, you can. And most of the time people wear enhancements because their nails are weak or their nails are damaged and they're not taking the time to um, hydrate and provide nutrients to their nails, which can uh, add strength and durability and eliminate the need for the enhancements. The enhancements are great. Don't get me wrong. They make your hands, you know, pretty and, and they, um, they last long, but there's also other options. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of long-term issues with the enhancements. I actually have them on my nails right now. And every time I take them off, they're super, my nails are super brutal. thin and brittle. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm experiencing the results of brittle. <laughs> nails and gel still stuck to my nails. Yes. Um, we were reading a lot about uh, how you've taken a vegan approach to this. And I'm sure yes. that really enhances kind of taking out um, the drills and the acetone and everything. So can you just tell us a little bit about that vegan journey that you've been on for uh, Demi Blue Nails? Absolutely. So the most important component is that it's vegan friendly, which means that it does not contain any animal derived ingredients and that it's not tested on animals. So um, a lot of times people are like, oh, you're just adding vegan on it and you're marketing it. No. Our, many of our cosmetics contain animal derived ingredients, animal fats, um, you know, fish scales for the glitters. That was a practice that the cosmetic industry did for years. And because we're in a more health conscious environment, it's important to provide a healthier alternative. And that's what Demi Blue is all about. Um, and again, uh, our cosmetics were being tested on animals. And that, so that's what makes it vegan friendly eliminating the, the animal derived ingredients and eliminating the tests on animals. Awesome. Um, it's also tin free, which means 10 of the well-known toxins that are found in many of our conventional nail polish products are not in Demi Blue, especially the toxic trio. And we talked about that, the formaldehyde, the toluene, the dibutyl phthalate, and then it doesn't contain acetone. It doesn't contain fragrances and a few other toxins that have been linked to cancers and developmental defects. Wow, awesome. We're, I'm really starting to see how this all comes full circle back to healthcare and education. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we also read that like the products are like unique in a sense where you're looking to build relationships with your consumers as well as it has roots in social responsibility. Would you mind diving a little deeper into that? Absolutely. I yeah. love it. So <laughs> we, 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 we definitely value our community. Um, we have had an opportunity to partner with some organizations where annually we provide free manicuring services to women who have undergone radiation treatments. Um, we haven't been able to do that this year, but we're hoping that next year we can get back into that. Um, we were able to partner with Washington University last year and provide services um, with those women several times during the year. And then we also participate in events where we are, um, we pop up at events and we provide women with the manicuring services. Um, and we also invite 
women into our process of developing our nail polishes by allowing them to pick the colors for the season and we allow them to name the colors. That's so, amazing. So, yeah, so 28, uh, we have 28 nail polish um, colors, and I think I only named two of them. Oh so, the, <laughs> so the other ones, yeah, the ladies in the community, probably over 50 or more women, um, we had focus group events, and um, they had to collectively choose each of the collections. So I have three collections. I have a fall, winter 2019 collection a 2019 spring summer collection, and then now a 2020 fall winter collection. And the women in the community selected all of the colors collectively and they named them. I love that. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I want to do that. I know. So yeah. <laughs> the second part, you are the most recent recipient of the UMSL DEI Accelerator Grant. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what your plans are and just Kind of explain it to us. Absolutely. So this accelerator gives um, entrepreneurs who are underrepresented an opportunity to um, be mentored and um, trained by some of St. Louis's most elite. And it also gives us access to funding that we probably wouldn't have been able to access um, without a program similar to this one. And so um, having an opportunity to, to partner with the UMSO um, DEI Accelerator and to have that support system and the funding will definitely help to propel Demi Blue into um, our future endeavors. We definitely want to expand on the products and the services that we offer. Um, sorry about that. We definitely <laughs> want to it's technology. 2020. It's technology. You know, phone calls come in when they are not supposed to. <laughs> but we definitely, we definitely want to expand on the products that we offer. Of course, we're constantly researching new products. Um, not only do we offer nail polishes, but we also offer nail treatments. So we have a soy-based nail polish remover that has vitamins and nutrients that does not contain acetone. Um, we have, you know, deep nutrition for damaged nails. If you're transitioning from acrylics or enhancements and you want to wear your natural nails, definitely the deep nutrition. We have nail strengtheners, you know, things that really um, enhance the natural nail uh, growth process. Amazing. That's amazing. So yeah. if someone, if someone wanted to uh, uh, purchase, it's the holiday season. So if someone wanted to purchase um, some of your products for holiday gifts or just learn more about you in general, where could they go to find that? Absolutely. So we do have a website. It's DemiBlueNaturalNails.com. Mm -hmm. I actually have some holiday gift ideas on there that are really cool. Um, this is the second year that I'm offering a limited edition Demi Blue ornament that is paired with um, your favorite Demi Blue nail polish color. So let's just say if you wanted to order um, the orange nail polish, then you could also purchase our orange uh, Demi Blue uh, ornament that matches the nail polish. You can give that as a gift. Um, it's so exciting because one of my family traditions is to, is to um, place an ornament on our family Christmas tree that is given to us by family and friends over the years. And I've been doing that for probably 25 years. And so my Christmas tree is filled with unique ornaments from family and friends over the years. And so last year we rolled out the Demi Blue ornament and we invited people to bring our tradition into their homes. And so I'm excited to roll it out again this year and to pair it with your favorite nail polish color. So they definitely can go on our website, DemiBlueNaturalNails.com. They definitely can purchase the nail polishes on walmart.com. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Yes, um, they can, um, if they're looking for, if there's wholesalers and they're looking for wholesale opportunities, we are on fair.com. That's F-A-I-R-E, fair.com. We're local at the Golden Grocer um, Natural Food Store. And we're also in Lux Department Store. Impressive. That's amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, first of all. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Any other questions? 
Well, they also can follow me on social media um, because yes. I'm always giving away nail polish products. I always have cool. fun little contests for people to engage with me. Um, and I share a little bit about myself, about my story. I share my mom and my family as well. So they can definitely follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Demi Blue N N. Demi Blue D E M I B L U E N N. Thank you. Very awesome. So one <laughs> last question for you. What inspired your name, Demi Ooh, Blue? Good question. Yes. So because I'm all about family and legacy and community, um, Demi is actually my granddaughter's name. Oh. I'm hoping that she will carry on the legacy. Um, and then blue is my favorite color. Oh, perfect. Simple as that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing with us today. Yeah, and again, absolutely. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, so to everyone watching, we're gonna uh, comment with the website so you can go get your nail polish and uh, fill, you know, your holiday stockings. Stock. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna, they're, well, they're both gonna get them in their stockings. So <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> um, I love the and, ornaments. Yeah. Yeah. I'm super excited. They are beautiful. Don't the whole gift. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really love how your business is such a reflection of you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. And congratulate, congratulations on the accelerator. And we truly can't, can't wait to see what you do next. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everyone at home that's watching. And uh, we will be here next week with our uh, next Candid Conversations guest. So have a good week, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.